Good evening, everybody. And uh, before I start my presentation, I want to thank Kohler for inviting SPES to share our thoughts uh, in this August gathering, and especially the eminent speakers. When I was deeply thinking on the topic, I find in most of the instances that art imitates life because it has to have some inspiration, and inspiration drives the art. Sometimes the inspiration comes from realistic thing or experiences, or sometimes it comes out from the utopia of life. I will start with Tada Wando, the charts on the water, show minimalistic in approach, show close to our heart, so simple, and he said, we borrow from nature and space upon which we build a charts inspired by life and nature. Cinema being a strong form of art, let me have the privilege to mention a few uh, in support of my belief. Pothir Panchali, Charlie Chaplin, Megheda Katara, Gupi Gain Bhagabain, Joy Baba Felunath, Bhutir Bhavishwat, Cinema Ola, and so on. Everywhere we find this art form is imitating life. We find a cinema poster of Devi, which is designed by Shottajit Ray. Then we find theater of legendary Shombunath, Shombhu Mitro, Utpal Dotto, Nasiruddin Shah, and the mime artists. Performing arts are based on essence of life. I think an artist feels the impulse to create a work of art when the passive awe provoked by event or nature is transformed into desire to express. So art imitates life. Glenn Market said, architect is not created, it is discovered. And the hand will find solution before the mind can even comprehend them. Art requires source. They use things from life and mold them into ideas for the paintings, sculptures, cinema, or any form of art. Let's take some example from painting. Altamira cave painting, a creation of life, Tegos painting, and even surrealistic art is also an imitation of life as the dreams are part of the life. An example from Pablo Picasso. He says, everything you can imagine is real. My dear friends, imagination comes from the experience of life or utopia of life, hence art imitated life. A small project of space a rent tree which is on the verge of completion, a residential building conceived as an urban oasis, and we consider any well-designed building as functional sculpture, which is inspired by life and enriches the people's lifestyle. I will take a few examples of sculptures for reinforcing the idea. Santal family, a famous sculpture by Ram Kinkar Bej in Santaniketan, terracotta carving in Vishnupur, and the lady with the mirror in Belur, Karnatak. I had the privilege few months back to experience David. Many of us have seen Rodas the Thinker, tribal totem of Africa or reclining figure of Henry Moore. In every example, we find life as the driving force. In the next slide, two projects of space and on the left, a down-to-earth building using earthen colors, very less use of glass, not a very proud expression of structure, but a subdued one. The right one is an experiment considering the building facade as a canvas, a composition of colors on a composition of the building facade. I will touch upon a different art form, which is dance. We see Kothakoli, Kuchipudi, Odissi, Chou, Ballet, and everywhere we find the reflection of life and the expression of life. Music is also a very important form of art, which is nowadays been used as therapy even. Einstein said, I often think in music. I live my daydreams in music. I see my life in terms of music. My friends, I think no better quote is necessary to explain that the art imitates life. This one is one of our buildings seen through another building of ours, like a picture frame. 
It's an experiment of, again, composition of colors on a facade, which includes the exposed surface lines as well. We cannot have present unless we have our past. I repeat, we cannot have our present unless we have our past. It's again an experiment for a heritage structure where the past has been showcased on the backdrop of the present for the glorious future. And the adaptive reuse with the new building justifies the financial viability. And hence, this concept is taken from philosophy of life. Coming back to another form of art, which is photography. It's a famous photograph called The Reflection, which is by John Stephen Fernandez of Toronto, Canada. We just can't deny the influence of life if we see this photograph. We are very close to Durga Puja. In Kolkata, all of us are very much familiar with the pandals or the puja pavilions, or we can call it sometimes a seasonal art. And in each pavilion, we find nothing but the art imitating life, art inspiring life, and art enriching our life. Life is full of dreams. These two projects are conf uh, conf uh, conceived a few years back, but unfortunately, this is yet to see the daylight. Both are highly influenced by basic geometry, which we in a space believe in. We know the face is the mirror of our mind. In this building, the facade is considered as the face, which is the mirror of the mood of this building. The mood changes with the change in mood in the sky where the reflection plays a very important role by the interpenetrated glass surfaces at acute angles. In my last slide, we are showing a collage of master's work. And we believe the buildings are functional sculptures, and which is the confluence of applied arts and applied science for taking inspiration of life. Art imitates life. Thank you so much for your presentation.